Hello everyone! Today I'm bringing you update news for the Surface Deform Grease Pencil modifier. The modifier is polished and finally ready for production or home use. Here are its useful features. Similar to the classical mesh surface deform, you can build a mesh cage around a grease pencil and use the modifier to bind the grease pencil to it. This way, the grease pencil will move along with a simpler mesh cage and its rig and shape keys. No matter what kind of strokes or effects, masks, This is one of the most awaited features of Blender. After the success of animated movies such as Into the Spider-Verse and Puss in Boots 2, layering 2D features on a 3D model seems to be the direction the industry is going. The system, thought and developed at MAD Entertainment, lets you draw 2D details over your 3D animated character and this will move along with a 3D animation until you decide to replace them with a new drawing, just like this. I leave a link to the tutorial in the description. So, what changed from the version shown in the previous video? You can immediately notice the different UI. This is a design choice made to better manage things, both internally in the code and by the user. You can choose whether to bind the current frame or all frames, and all the layers will be bound at the same time. This can be more manageable because the usage case of binding just one layer is, is not very common. In the future, a list of all the bound frames may be available, but for now we can keep track of the number of bound frames for each layer, because of course in the Blender Grease Pencil timeline we have frames for each layer, so in one frame position there may be a keyframe or a Grease Pencil frame for one layer but not for the other one. So this was a quick showcase of the new Surface Deform Grease Pencil modifier and its updates. Of course, this is not finished and of course there is a lot of crashes, a lot of bugs, so I encourage you, if you use this, to report them to me in Blender chat, write a comment under this video or write a comment under the pull request. It's very useful for me, especially if you find the um, exact circumstances in which the bug occurs just it's more useful to know exactly how it did so if you can attach the file and stuff like that. so i think this is all for any questions you can write a comment for anything and see you next time